Savannah. Oh welcome back goodness. to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. On this channel, you're going to see physician assistant related and healthcare related content, as well as content for students who are just looking to take their education to the next level. So take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know every single time I put a new video out. Also, you guys, I have a video called Everything You Need to Know About the GRE in 8 Minutes for those of you who don't know anything about the GRE. So please be sure to go over to my search bar and type that in and watch that video after you've seen this video. Um, I'll also leave a link for that in the description box below as well. So you guys, I am super excited, excited because of this video that you guys are about to see. I did a collaboration with Philip, who's also called The Tested Tutor. He has his own YouTube channel, so I will leave a, dis um, a link for that in the description box below so you can check out his channel. But you guys, he scored a three 40 on the GRE, which is a perfect score. Let me say that one more time. He scored a perfect score on the GRE. So he's going to be sharing some of his tips that he used to get a perfect score in the GRE with you all so that you all can also improve your GRE scores. So without further ado, here's Philip. Hey guys, my name is Philip and I make videos for a channel called The Tested Tutor. Massive thank you to Adana for giving me a chance to talk to you guys today. My channel is awesome, but it will never quite be as cool as her channel. Before I get talking about my 340 in the GRE, I just wanted to give you a quick background about why I'm here on the interwebs. My story starts with helping hundreds of kids with maths and English, and I kind of got addicted to helping people pass their tests. But what about all those poor people on the internet who can't afford a tutor like me? Because I am kind of expensive. So I thought I'm gonna give my advice, my amazing secrets out for free on the internet. And that's what my channel is about. Giving my tutoring secrets to those who can't afford for a private tutor. I talk about the GRE, English vocabulary, how to learn in general, but I don't know. My channel might develop in different ways. We'll see, it depends what people want and what helps people the most. But back to my 340. So. I got inspired to take the GRE after I heard that it tested vocabulary, which is one of my favorite topics. And I researched the test by watching loads of YouTube videos, including an amazing one by a person called Adana. So kind of on a whim, I decided to take the test. I gave myself about a couple of months of preparation study, and in a second, I'll give you my tips about what I did to improve my score. I had many advantages going into the test, of course, but I would boil down these three tips as the way that you can improve your score, wherever you're starting from. First one, biggest one, do loads of practice questions and practice tests. Most students that I meet only end up doing two, 300 practice questions, including inside practice tests. I think I ended up doing about 2000 before the test. Did about 12 different practice tests from power prep, Manhattan and Kaplan. I did all the questions in the official guide, the Manhattan five pound book. There's so many questions you can find, plus ones online as well. The more questions you do, simply the better prepared you're gonna be. That's not the only thing you need to do, but that is the number one sine qua non for getting that amazing score. Number two is to document your mistakes. It's not enough just doing loads of questions. Every time I made a mistake, I would document what I did wrong and what I need to improve on. My determination was just simply this, never make the same mistake twice. If I could reassure myself that I'd never make that exact same mistake twice, I knew that I would keep on improving because I didn't start off getting 340s. Also, I must say that like writing stuff down instead of just looking at the answers, actually documenting your mistakes, I think it just physically helps your brain to absorb the information in a way that just looking at the answers will never do. Third thing, of course, increase your vocabulary by maybe four to 5,000 words before the test. So I started with quite a good vocabulary to begin with, but I definitely increased it by several thousand words by using every single available word list I could find on the internet. So my actual favorite one, and here's one of my secrets, is the 1,853 most difficult words. It's like an online resource from Scribid or something like that. And I went through and made sure to memorize every word I didn't understand. That's especially a useful tip for those aiming for above a 320 because the words are quite hard. No matter where you're starting, you've always got the Economist and the Magoosh app 
and you can increase your vocabulary by 50 to 100 words a day and overall by several thousand words before the test. A bonus tip for getting the really insane scores like those above 330 is to try to enjoy the process. Now, I know you guys are gonna be thinking, this guy is just crazy. How can you enjoy a test like the GRE? But the more you can find some fun and amusement in learning like a cool maths trick to show to your friends or learning a new vocab word that you can use to anyone in any conversation, the more you're actually gonna spend mental energy and time invested into learning stuff for the test. If you don't enjoy it at all, you're just gonna stop yourself revising. You're not gonna to wanna to spend your weekend revising. And I know it sounds absolutely crazy. If you can try to make the process more enjoyable, you will spend more time doing it. And that's what I did. I did quite enjoy learning, so I invested loads of hours. I know not everyone might feel that they can enjoy the test, but the more you enjoy it, or let's just say the less you hate it, the better the result will be. Anyway, that's enough from me. I'm about to make a video on the best hairstyle for getting a 340 on the GRE. So I'll be right back. Oh, Philip, so you got jokes, right? Um, it's an inside joke, you guys. He talked about the hair. I did a hair video. Um, if you have not seen that video on my channel about different hairstyles for your interview, go ahead and check that video out. But um, he's about to go make a video on hairstyles for a 340 on the GRE. Thank you, Philip, so much for making this video. Um, I learned some stuff for my study habits as well. So I'm really gonna be taking away just repetition in terms of those questions, maxing out on those questions because I'm studying for my pants. So that is something I'm definitely gonna do. I've already done over 2000 and I'm using Ross Review and Kaplan as well to just kind of get those rapid fire questions. So I think that's a really good tip that he gave you guys. And also just increasing the vocabulary because when I'm taking some of my test questions as well, I'm seeing words like equine. And if you don't know that that means horse and then somewhere else it says horse toxin for like diphtheria or tetanus, you're not gonna be able to put the two together. So I think that's really a good tip as well. So you guys, if you have not already done so, go take a look at Philip's channel, The Tested Tutor, and see what he has to offer. Thank you again, Philip, for really um, just giving us all of this great information. I know I'm gonna take some of these tips away. If you have any questions for him, leave them in the comment section below if you have any questions for me as well do the same follow me on instagram at adana the pa and hit that like button for this video if you really like that um this video i really appreciate you guys and i will talk to you guys next time bye